Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach, and this is a multiplayer matchup with the open beta. Looks like we're getting to be even closer to the official release of this, uh, so I definitely recommend that you check out this game once it's released, if you haven't already. You can usually get it at a pretty decent price uh, when it's on sale, and the subscriber that's really been working on this has really been fixing a lot of the bugs and polishing in this game pretty significantly, um, so I'm very very, very impressed with what he's been able to do so far. So, if, like I said, if you haven't been able to purchase this game, it's one of my all-time favorite Warhammer 40,000 games. Uh, it still has some players playing online for multiplayer, if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice to get good at it. I do have multiple videos online for multiplayer matchups to give you an idea of different uh, ideas of how to use the units here. So we'll get selected. It looks like we're going to do a skirmish engagement, orcs versus space wolves. We're going to be fighting over the victory points, so we'll see what we can do. And it is 5,000 points. Alright, so I've selected our forces. I got the Morkanaut. War boss, two battle wagons. We've got the Killican. I decided not to go with the mech gun. I've got two mega knobs. We'll go with the Def Copters. The two pain boys, three weird boys. And the runt, uh, runt herder. I had 60 points left, so I went with Sluggas and two Gretchens here. So we'll try to use the Gretchen to soak up a bunch of reaction fires and move our units into battle to get into the Space Marines. They're going to have a whirlwind since we have access to the mech gun. So we got to be careful because that whirlwind can mess us up. Alright, so I've deployed our forces here. I have uh, the transport, war boss, mega knobs, sluggas, pain boys, weird boy, weird boy in here, and pain boy, weird boy here, and I have the killican guys here. This could be an absolute disaster if he has his venerable dreadnoughts up here and he could stasis grenade my guys. Could be pretty much kill myself, but uh, we'll see what we can do here and hopefully we won't screw ourselves up. I can move you all the way down to here. Hmm. 
Who's next? Sluggers. No, I didn't want to do that. Damn it! Keep trying to turn, guys, is what I'm trying to do.
Yeah, he's just gonna nuke these guys all here. I've made him a nice little target there. sure who I want to fight right now. Yeah, I don't even want to come after you anyways. Um... do I want to do? Well, do I try to do the melt again, or do I try to kill these guys? Are you shitting me? Hmm. 
Should have healed him first. I'm all messed up. Are you shitting me? Alright, you're stunned, but then you still get to attack me, huh? Dude, what the hell? You're stunned, but you're still attacking. I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah, I was oh, like, gonna crash. Jesus fuck, man. I think I'm not gonna make it. Guess we'll just kill that guy.
Alright, excellent. I'm sure there will be zero repercussions for that. Uh, our armor is a strong uh, Oh, jeez. Fire everything! <laughs> Fire everything! Come I on, guys. Tolerate failure. I need you to get some kills. Come on, 10 damage. Nice.
damage variability in this game is just so bizarre. I thought it said somebody was deployed, but now I don't see him. Ah, there he is. Emergency power! So victory is ours with uh, the orcs. Uh, definitely had me. It was a close game for a couple turns there because I really kind of messed up my approach here, but we were able to rectify it. I never did get to get these guys into combat here, which is kind of ironic since it's like 1,500 points. Um, the Morkana is definitely an incredibly, incredibly powerful unit. Uh, with this force field, you can stack it up with the warp bubbles for additional pr range protection. Uh, as you saw, you have to be a little bit careful with your weird boys because they can blow up and damage units. And you can also see how overpowered the whirlwind is because you can just sit back and snipe infantry and just destroy a massive amount of units with that. So you definitely want to try to get up there and take that out as soon as possible. The other thing that was really interesting about this is when the Wolf Priest ended up buffing the Dreadnought that totally liquidated 
this uh, war boss here. So that's an interesting thing to know about in the future. Because uh, I did not know he could do so much damage to the war boss and kill him so easily. Uh, the Wolf Priest himself, I think he's way too powerful. I've had games where I've attacked him with literally every unit in my army. And I still can't wipe him out. And then to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe in melee with the war boss here... I wish he would just get nerfed. His survivability is just way too high. Um, he's a huge tank. He can run into combat. He's good at melee combat. He can stun units when they're in melee combat. He's got all sorts of buffs and things like that. So I wish he just wasn't as strong uh, as he currently is. Because he's just one of the most powerful units in the game right now. And uh, it just seems like it's way too hard to kill him. So... He, uh, I'm trying to think, did he use his stasis grenade on me? Or maybe that was just a regular dreadnought. But, uh, the termies here, the upgraded ones, they really can do a lot of damage with, uh, that ammo that they have that hits all units on the square, so you just gotta be really careful about that and take them out as soon as possible. And then, obviously, all these guys with their melta guns have, uh, grenades as well, so good match and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So here's our units. So ended up taking, he only had 900 left, huh? So it's a 2 to 1 in terms of points for us in our favor, even though we ended up losing more units than he did, but that's because the orcs are so cheap. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. And check out this beta when it becomes available to the general public, because it's definitely really polished this game quite a bunch, quite a bit. So have a great day.